Michelle Muscatello tracking the very latest weather information for us now. Well, Danielle, we're dry today. There's no snow in the forecast for the daytime hours today. It's going to be storm free right into the overnight hours tonight. But what we are seeing already, the clouds rolling in out ahead of our nor'easter, a storm that will be very intense, has potential to create blizzard conditions, which is why this blizzard watch has been issued for now the entire Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts area from tomorrow through Saturday afternoon. Blizzard definition, it has very little to do with how much snow and a lot to do with the combination of the snow with the wind. So we're talking about the uh, definition here being winds 35 miles per hour or greater, at least frequent gusts to that strength, visibility under a quarter mile an hour, and it has to last for three hours or more. So the timing of those blizzard like conditions, maybe near whiteout conditions would be uh, uh, Friday night rather into early Saturday morning. Here's city cam now. You can already see the clouds taking over about 21 in Providence. Newport's at 23 now. New Bedford still at 21 degrees. Winds are light. They'll remain light through the daytime today. Just fading sun, increasing clouds about 28 degrees for the high cold and dry. Even tonight is cloudy and cold. A dry skies though at 23. Three, and the winds are still light tonight. And then watch what happens tomorrow. Storm day for us. We've got the snow that will pick up in intensity, especially by the afternoon. And the winds will be picking up too during the afternoon around 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then the strongest winds will be slated for uh, Friday night. So your future cast here for Friday morning at 6 a.m. We may initially, if you're an early riser, wake up to dry skies, but that snow quickly fills in. So by 10 o'clock, most of us seeing at least some light snow, and then it turns quickly heavy for lunchtime and beyond. And this is when it's accumulating at you know, higher rates, leading to poor travel conditions and a little bit of rain maybe along the coastline by late afternoon or certainly the evening. This is when we're looking at getting into the height of the storm. Snowfall rates of two to three inches an hour during this time. But the tricky part is whether there'll be some rain or some mixing along the south coast for a time, maybe even into the upper reaches of Narragansett Bay for a brief time overnight before the cold air returns on the backside of the storm and we're back to snow most of our area for tomorrow morning, uh, Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon. So where that rain snow line sets up going to be key for how much snow our south coast gets. If it stays all snow, you're going to be right in that same range as the rest of us, which is one to two feet of snow for most of our area. I'm still trimming the amounts along the south coast because of that potential of rain or sleep mixing in. And even if it doesn't change over to rain, it'll be a heavier, wetter, more compact snow down along the south coast. There is still the potential that isolated areas in this area of highlighted in blue could see over two feet of snow. I think probably a higher likelihood of that as you get into central and northeastern Massachusetts, but even parts of northwestern Rhode Island could see amounts over 24 inches of snowfall. So that would rank up there as uh, some of our highest snowfall amounts in a single storm that we've had in history. Your storm impacts, potential wind damage, power outages, halt to travel, I think by Friday evening, and minor coastal flooding along the Rhode Island South Coast, maybe a moderate flood event for eastern Massachusetts coastline. Even Saturday, you know, we were initially thinking the storm would be out of here in time for Saturday, but travel conditions Saturday, I do not think will be very good, especially in the morning. In fact, still dangerous Saturday morning, poor by two o'clock Saturday afternoon and starting to see some improving conditions by uh, Saturday evening. Sunday is a dry, sunny and a little bit milder day up to about 34 degrees. Definitely check in with Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca starting tonight live at 5. There'll be new data coming in throughout the daytime and he'll have the very latest for you on this storm and the timing impacts all starting live at 5 on WPRI. Here's Jay. He's got the jam cam traffic for us this morning.